So in this video we'll be looking at the Frobenius number of three numbers, and we'll just be doing one example. So we'll be doing something called the Chicken McNugget problem. So it's called the McNugget. So this problem's been around since like the 1980s, and basically it states that Chicken McNuggets come in three types of boxes. Come in packs of six, nine, and twenty. So that was at some time when they only came in these three types of boxes. So now it's the, asking the same exact question. Remember the previous examples we did with two numbers we found the Frobenius number? We want to find the Frobenius number with these three numbers. So there's no explicit formula for this that's been found, but we can use algorithms, and in this case we'll just use uh, the same kind of strategy we have been using. So first let's just look at these two numbers, 6 and 9. So let's try to find the Frobenius number of these two. So 6a plus 9b, and since these both have a factor of 3, I'll just group that out. So it's 3 times 2a plus 3b. So that's the problem, equals k. So what kind of values can this form? So let's look at the inside, 2a plus 3b. Remember in the first example we found that the Frobenius number of 2 and 3 was 1? So basically this cannot equal 1, which means that k cannot equal 3. But now this can equal to every natural number, so 2a plus 3b equals all, all natural numbers after 1. That means that if this can equal every natural number, this can equal 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, that means 3 times that number equals every single multiple 3 except 3 itself. So we can't let k equal 3, but we can let it equal all 3k. Um, I'm going to use a little different notation for this, actually. I'm going to say equals all 3j, where j does not equal 1. Okay? And we're going to also say that j is greater than or equal to 0. Okay? So, any 3j, where j meets these conditions. So, remember that lemma we used in the previous problem? We're going to use a similar lemma. So we're going to say lemma, all natural numbers are 3k, 3k plus 1, or 3k plus 2. Okay, and we know that's true. So then, how, so if we use only 6s and 9s, we have no choice but to make only multiples of 3. So how do we break out of this multiple of 3 trap? We introduce the 20. So we're going to use 120 first. So we're going to say, um, remember this is the problem statement, 3 times 2a plus 3b, and introduce a 20. A 20 can be broken up like this, so it can be 3 times 2a plus 3b, plus 3 times 6 plus 2. This is 20 because it's 18 plus 2. And I'm going to introduce the 6 into here. So it's going to be 3 times 2a plus 3b plus 6 plus the outside 2. So this means that, remember 2a plus 3b is a natural number, plus 6. So that's still a natural number, times 3 plus 2. So this is going to give us our multiples of 3 plus 2. So this can be equal to what values? Remember 2a and 3b can be equal to all values except 1. That means this can be equal to all values except 7, and of course has to be greater than 0. So, um, and it can't be anything less than 7 either, because that would mean this is negative. So it has to be greater um, rather, this can be 0 actually. 2a and 3b can be equal to 0 if a and b are equal to 0, so this can be 6. So it just needs to be greater than or equal to 6, but cannot equal 7. So that means that starting here, we're going to say, we're going to let that be k. k is some integer that is not equal to 7 and is greater than or equal to 6. So we can form all 3k plus 2 of that form. And let me get a different paper actually running out of room. Okay. So now we'll go on this paper. Now, now we have two things under our belt. We can form all 3k plus 2 and all 3j. But how do we form things that are multiples of 3 plus 1? So let's see, just introduce another 20. So now our problem becomes, problem becomes, it was 3 times 2a plus 3b 
plus 6 plus 2. Introduce another 20, we get 3 times 2a plus 3b plus 6 plus 2 um, plus 20, which we can write as 3 times 6 plus 2. And so we get 3 times 2a plus 3b plus another 6 becomes 12 plus 4. And this 4 contains another multiple of 3 again, so we have to do 3 times 2a plus 3b plus 13 plus 1. So we're going to let this quantity be defined as L. L can be what? So since this cannot be equal to 1, uh, L cannot equal 14, and L must be greater than or equal to 13, because this can be 0. So that means we can form all 3L plus 1. So now we have multiples of 0, uh, sorry, we have multiples of 3 plus 0, multiples of 3 plus 1, and multiples of 3 plus 2. So what's the largest one we can't form? So it looks like this is going to contain the largest one. So remember, L cannot equal 14. If, if it is 14, we put 14 into here. 14 times 3 is 42. Add 1, we get 43. And let's see, make sure, let's test to make sure that's the right number. So we can, this is a multiple of 3 plus 1. We can form every multiple of 3 plus 1 after that. And before that, we can form all multiples of 3 added to 2, as we saw here, all multiples of 3 added to 3. So it turns out that 43 is, in fact, our Frobenius number for the chicken McNugget numbers.